Mr. Pegger. You ask me, can this new captain promise you a life of prizes, plunder, and adventure? Aye. For amongst all the gentlemen of fortune sailing these West Indies, he ranks amongst the most clever. There was a time when I thought myself the deadliest scourge of these seas. <laughs> but this man is a fearsome dog that feeds off trouble and turmoil. I seen him clear the deck of a Spanish galleon like it were nothing. Fighting like a devil, dressed as a man. And he's a canny one. Knows his way round every crag and crevice of these islands. So if his fortune and adventure you seek, and Captain Edward Kenway's your man. Only, don't meddle in his private affairs. For there's more mystery to that man than even I dare ask. So hello everybody, my name is Jamalife and welcome to Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Oh, I'm already into this. Okay. Oh. I shall take the wheel. Oh, yes. Let's go. Oh. Oh, that's how I am. All right, okay. Oh, I missed. Oh, oh, I got him. Yes. It's the British. Slowly but surely. Come on. They all missed. Ah, go, go. Oh god, it's fine. <laughs> okay, last one. Oh, she's a biggie. Oh, oh she. Oh, she only got four to health. That's fine. Go. Left. Ready. One more. Yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is it dangerous? Edward. Hmm? Privateering. Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. 
Why not sail with the king's navy? Earn a proper wage, sail under gentlemen. So do the navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. How long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. Oh. Oh, it was a flashback. Am I the only one that survived? Oh no. Swim. Swim. Hmm. So, well, I'm not an assassin yet. But I've met an assassin. I came face to face with an assassin. Someone's going to come. There we go. Oh, it's the assassin. Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred esquivos. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? Bloody fucking pirates! Wet powder. I'm on to you, Sneaksby! Find the assassin. Come on, mate. We're off to a bad start. Uh, this, this, is, this would be me if this sort of scenario happened to me. I would just laugh at it. It's a hundred leagues or more to Havana. Will you walk that distance? And try and help someone that literally was two seconds ago trying to kill me. Where now? Am I being stupid? Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, I am. What happened in um, Assassin's Creed 3, as far as I remember, it's been a while, but when you first played it, you couldn't climb. Oh, no, no way, was it trees you couldn't climb? When you were um, Connor's, Connor's dad, he could only climb buildings, I think. Something like that, but playing as Edward, we already can climb very well. I mean, maybe it's just a hobby, but usually people can't climb. Actually, to be fair, he's a pirate, so he needs to go to climb the rigging and stuff. Oh, there he is. Posh git. Where's he running to? First, I'm on this chest. Where's the chest? 
Here's the chest. Oh, we kick it now. There's lots of chests around here. Whoa. Anyway, let's go and let's go and talk to this assassin. I'm very eager to find out why he's running at first. And what he wants to do in um We could work together on this. Uh, the place he wants to go. I've forgotten the name of it. Oh, another synchronizing opportunity. Synchronizing, as far as I remember, in Assassin's Creed, is the way to load the map. Okay. Ah, into the water. Keep your distance. It's wet powdery. Oh! What? I'm going to kill you now because I survived your bullet. That was the quite the jump. Oh, rainbow! Come on! Uh oh! Oh, we're good. What happened to my guns? Don't I get guns? Ooh. Ooh. Senor Duncan Walpole. I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Sumas humilde servidor, el gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. Why did you do that? You threw the hidden blade away. Oh. Okay, so now we have the assassin's costume. But, oh, gunshot. But only because we want to collect a reward. Interesting. Is that boat? Oh, it's a British boat. The Commodore's gone ahead to Kingston, where to commandeer this lover's ship and follow. So, sorry, uh, Kingston? No, no, our destination is Havana. I'm just a merchant. Quiet, you bleeding pirate! You'll hang for the mess you made out there! Sir! I had nothing to do with this. That's it, come over here. My crew and I have merely anchored. Uh, Wait, I don't have a hidden blade. He made a run for it. Go! I don't know who you are, but. Give me one reason I shouldn't vent your skull. Take my sugar! Take anything you like! I'll pay you! Anything you like! Oh god! You go, Edward! Ooh, yes! Slow motion. I oh, that was beautiful. By God's grace, sir, you saved me. A profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. But uh, 
here lies its poor captain, and I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, no mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him, and I must get to Havana with speed. Ah, oh, that is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, oh, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Did you? Yes. You have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. But, all things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? Okay. Same destination. A rowboat, I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen. Good days hunting. Oh, a treasure map. Oh, that's cool. So basically, it speaks for itself. Oh. I'll come back for the treasure later. But for now, let's continue with the... <laughs> the way he just walked into the water. Oh, that was funny. Oh, look, fish. All oh, the same fish. Oh, this is difficult. I should have taken the coat off. Eh. Oh, I love this beauty. Take the wheel. Okay, oh, where to? Duncan. She's a modest schooner, but well suited to my purpose, trafficking cargo from my plantation and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to full, shall we? Okay. So this ah, is the. There's a tug of the wind at my hair. Ah, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. The raw stink of... of possibility. <laughs> That's a top way of seeing it, mate. You're gonna keep talking, or can I talk? Okay. We've really opened it up now, haven't we? <laughs> so we're taking... Uh, this guy's ship. For our the first. We're quite animated by the idea of pirates roaming these waters. Is it a real danger, do you suppose? A possibility. But most pirates stalk the windward passage between Cuba and Hispaniola. Oops. Oh, I see. Yes. That is a bustling strait. But I shouldn't worry about being waylaid by pirates, truth be told. My ship is small, and I have nothing of immense value. Sugarcane and its yields, molasses, rum, that sort of thing. <laughs> There's not a pirate living who turned his back on a keg of rum. Well, yes. Yes, I suppose that's true. So these two are just going to keep talking for the whole voyage. So this is our first taste of proper sailing with this guy's boat. Oh, look at that whale. Natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I. Oh, look at these. Look at these shots. Fantastic oh. work. Very promising. Oh yeah. As if I almost forgot that we're some guy in an animus. But who are we? Right. Easy now. There you go. Welcome back. Hello. 
Your numbers look good. Now let's make sure we can break your brain, all right? Okay. I need you to move your head and look at these lights just here. What? Look up. Yeah. Oh. That's it. Down. So far, so good. Let's get you up. So, welcome to the Sample 17 project. Before you get started, you're gonna need this. An yeah, piece. There you go. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, bonjour. C'est bon? It works? Yeah. All right, let's take a walk. Your file says you've done some memory research before, but not to this extent, which is surprising. You're very good. The data streams are very stable. Who am I? What happened to Desmond? Impressive, right? This building is barely six months old, but Abstergo Entertainment has been a studio for a few years, since 2010. Oh, is that? Maybe you saw Liberation? That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. That was just the tip of the iceberg. Soon, we'll be unveiling commercial Animus servers for the whole world to enjoy. They'll offer passive experiences, of course. Edited versions of real history. But only the exciting parts. And we think we found the perfect subject for our first full-length virtual feature. Caribbean Pirates. So that's your gig. Oh, I get It'll it now. Minute, okay? So Liberation was a uh, thingy's well, first you. game. Bon and they went away thinking, right, we're going to do bon, some pirate things. Magnifique. Merci. This is for you. The primary tool of our trade. Your communicator. Right. Power it up and give it a look. It's pretty slick. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you might have noticed that security seems a little light around here. That's because your communicator is your key to getting around. So it's a key card and a tablet. And yeah. Hello. We got Wi-Fi. See that flashing wireless signal? It means you're hooked up to the elevator. I'll let you do the oh. honors. We're headed up to the Sample 17 studio, second floor. Okay. There we go. So not Wi-Fi. You ready? Let's for, go. For what? Hello? Ah, there's the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. I'll introduce you. Bonjour. Salut, mes well, thanks. Have you met our new hire? Just started today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hey then, Connor. Edward, the pirate. Ah, ar, yar, matey. <laughs> Very exciting. Welcome aboard. Uh, Milani, can we talk in your office for a minute? Just let me get this one settled and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Nice to meet you. Right, so, uh, this is the Sample 17 floor. We're diving into the memories of one very generous donor, Desmond Miles. We're pulling all the best stuff from his DNA. And hopefully one day, we can forge some fantastic experiences from what we find in there. This pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing, calibrating. Calibrating, right. So, here we are. Your very own Animus workstation. This is all yours, so sit back, relax, and find us some good footage. If you need any hints or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial programs, so you'll have no problems. And I'll check in on you later. Happy pirating. Okay. So, Edward is related to Connor and his dad. And they were the previous, that was in Assassin's Creed 3. And I thought I had more to say, but no, that's all I had to say. Just get that straight Welcome to my mind. To Animus Omega. 
Hello. Stergo Entertainment's proprietary ancestral memory research tool. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about how to operate your Animus console, please contact your project supervisor, Melanie LeMay. You have been registered as part of the Sample 17 project. Your primary research target is Edward James Kenway, born March 10, 1693, Swansea, Wales. Calibrations complete. All signs normal. All systems optimal. Extra neurotransmitters activated. Edward Kenway. Is this some um, Havana? Oh, yes. Now that is nice. Ah, uh, lively Havana. I've been here once before. It was a truly awful pleasure. See someone you know. No, no, no. Just putting on a friendly face. I shouldn't want to be mistaken for a pirate again. Right. Flash rogue like yourself must be cautious. Yeah. Okie dokie. So I need to go and talk to the king. Mad to think Spain and England were at war two years ago, isn't it? Here I am, bartering with Spaniards like they were my cousins. Nothing wrong, Duncan. No, it's nothing. Sand in my hampers. But where's the best squad in town? I'm dying for a quick kip. Or a siesta, should I say. Um, I'm just headed to uh, a public house now to meet some merchants. I could, I could show you the way. Well, lead on. I hope you'll tarry a bit while I conduct my meeting. It'd be a great relief to have a man of your stature nearby in case of a misunderstanding. I can hang about. I might have a drink. Spend it. <laughs> drink. <laughs> but they don't take kindly to pirates here, do they? Wonder how many stolen reals bought these men this perch. Hopefully I'm not Hola, with... ladies. You don't know these women, do you? No. They charge money for that kind of privilege. A few dozen reals for every hour of knowing. Keen to meet them? No. Goodness, no. I'm a, I'm a married man. Married man of their forte, mate. Oh, God. How much further is this? Aha! Here's a purveyor of personal defenses. <laughs> I should acquire a blade for myself, Duncan. Just as you have. This rusty razor's nothing to admire. Even so, I appear a mere kitten walking so close upon you. Perhaps a small dagger would suit me. Let's see what he's selling. Maybe I'll buy a sword too. We'll both jump rank. Oh, we'll be quite the pair, you and I. Twin devils. <laughs> Lend us a few reals then. I did save your skin. Ah, oh, uh, of course. Cheers. You didn't give me anything. Oh, he did. He gave me a thousand. Uh, let's have a look at some swords. Let's go with the Spanish or the British. Let's go with the British. That's a better fit for me. How do you fare? I had only enough for a small knife, sadly. Still, it'll do in a pinch. Oh, half a duff. I have led us astray, Duncan. Oh, no matter. I'll get us a better view. What are we looking for? Uh, a tavern. Sort of courtyard interior. Tavern. Jump. Oh, yes. Every finger's a fish hook. That's how you tell a true sailor. <laughs> ah. Careful there, Duncan. Edward. I'm going to call you both. However I'm feeling. Upsy-daisy. 
and synchronize facing the wrong way. I think I see the place. We're not far. Hang tight. Uh uh. What do you take? Stop or I'll break your knees when I catch you. Oh, come on, Duncan. I'm close at heel, shit bird. Am I going to tackle this guy or am I going to actually kill him? Here I come. Don't make me chase you into the harbor. Damn it. This guy can free run. Where are you going? You've literally gone in a circle. I can't actually run any faster. Why can't I catch this guy? No, wrong button. Is there another button to bigger run faster? There we go. Okay. Oh, for... That was quite the leap. You know what? I'm just killing you now. You robbed the wrong man, mate. A fellow with dangerous friends. There we go. Here we are. Duncan, by Jove, you're alive. Of course I am. That filch was no fuss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, we've arrived. Take your time, I'll be just here. Glad to meet no Welshman. Deep in Dago country. I'm English myself. Biding my time till the next war calls me to service. Lucky King George. Having a piss pot like you flying his flag. Oh! Oi! Skulk! I've seen your face before. You mates with them pirates down in Nassau. Shut your fucking gob or I'll fill it with shot. You hear me? <laughs> Edward, is it? There you go. It's gonna be a good old fist fight. Ooh. Come on, lads. I've seen bigger arms on a bird. Oh, I've got a counter and throw. <laughs> Look at me walk. Counter and an A. Ooh. Then counter and an X. Oh, okie dokie. Oh, I've missed this. Oh, counter. Yes, Edward. You're not leaving me. I'll cut you up. Perro English. Uh oh. Smoke, yes. Go. Free run. Go. What's that glow? Mm. 
jump. There we go. Yes. Well. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of Assassin's Creed Black Flag. If you liked it, hit that like button and hit that J to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all next time.